show on Friday night. We went and saw Two the Wolves, Hollywood, California. Packed house, and the place just went nuts. We cooked carne asada, which was awesome, and uh, had a couple beers, uh, which was also awesome. And I woke up about 3.30. I've been awake ever since. I tried to lay there as long as I could. I couldn't take it anymore. I don't ever want to come here when it's still dark. These are our mountain lions. There could be some now even, but I got cash or something banking on that he can uh, get them off me <laughs> if, if I were to get attacked. All these sexual scandals that you're hearing in the news now. And let me just separate. I think there's two categories. One category is grown women. And the other category is children. And those are apples and oranges to me. At no time ever, never ever, uh, should an adult man or woman, mostly men, should they ever engage in sexual acts with a child. That is a big no-no. In fact, everybody knows that if you go to prison for that, you're in deep doo-doo. It is a no-no, and uh, across society, you don't do that. And I don't know, you know, the law has to set up an age, a legal age of consent, which I think is 18. Some states it might be 17, whatever. So you gotta draw the line somewhere. Grown women is a different story. I'm not saying they're not vulnerable. You can be vulnerable, but usually when a director like Harvey Weinstein uh, calls you into his office, says, uh, hey, how about this for that, or quid pro quo. Uh, they're wanting something out of the deal. And now it's offensive because there's money involved. We've heard the jokes for years about Hollywood and the casting couch since the beginning of motion pictures. It's nothing new. And yeah, they are using their power. But also, those women want something out of it. And probably, in most cases, got something out of it. So that's what you call quid pro quo. And that's a big no-no in the corporate world, like uh, where I work. But, uh, you know, in fantasy land, I'm not so sure that it's a no-no. It's kind of just how business is done. I mean, you can either take the deal or not. And if you take that deal, it's because you were willing to do anything to get what you wanted. And so when Louis C.K. comes out, he says, well, they had power over these women. So it put them in a predicament. Well, they wanted something from you too. Uh, that's just my two cents. And I'll probably get some flack for it. That's okay. That just about does it, don't it? And I was like sticking 10 pounds of shit in a five pound sack. It wasn't going in, it's way too big. There's no way on God's green earth to make it fit. If my hands are all greasy or oily. What the heck is this? I'm, I'm like, my television is leaking oil. And for a minute, I'm like freaked out. I was, oh, I know what that is. That's Neo Sporn from my new tattoo. So I'm immediately creeped out and uh, I couldn't get them out of there fast enough. I could, I could have washed my hands. <laughs>